we shall continue with uh, our conversation on criticisms on Islamic modes of finance. And as I said previously, these criticisms are indirectly on Islamic banking and finance as well. In this module, we shall look at a criticism with reference to the practice of suku. You might have read in newspapers, in books, online, elsewhere, many a times people, the writers, journalists, they refer to sukuk as an Islamic bond. Because people understand this Islamic bond language, even myself, I know there are huge differences between sukuk and a bond, but for simplicity to make the people understood many a times, I use the term Islamic bond as well. However, a sukuk is not an Islamic bond. It is an investment certificate which might have some characteristics of debt and some characteristics of equity. Achha, is criticism se pehle, ek interesting uh, vaakya aapko suna deta. Once I was uh, going back from Heathrow Airport to home, so I, I came from somewhere, and this uh, car driver, who was an English guy, white guy, uh, he was driving me back home, and we started a conversation. And he asked me, so what do you do? So I said, I'm an Islamic finance expert. And he said, oh, my son is an Islamic finance expert as well. And I said, oh, really? And he said, oh, he works for the law firm so and so. And he is in the Islamic finance team of the, the law firm. And I said, okay, what's his name? And he gave me the name and I knew the guy. And he, then he said, I am actually you know, impressed that our government has uh, issued a sakak and I said uh, sakak what is a sakak and he said actually I thought this is the right pronunciation because before this I thought that this was suck UK S U K U K so you now people they can have you know a lot of perceptions understandings of these alien words Sukuk is an Arabic word and a lot of people they may not know, even the Arabs, they may not know true meaning of a sukuk until you explain to them. Now, many people, they say that sukuk is a big sham. It's a fraud. As there is no true sale happening in the sukuk structures, it is just a conventional bond named as sukuk. This is a criticism which I believe is based on this word bond which has been used in the media excessively. And uh, this bond thing actually when investment dar issued a sukuk on a transaction in UK, Financial Times actually came up with this caption, bond arrives in Islamic finance. And the reference was to James Bond 007. Now, on a serious note, let us come to this criticism. Okay. So those who criticize Sukuk on this basis, they say that as there is no recourse to the asset in case of a default, i.e. when the obligor defaults, the sukuk holders, they cannot get hold of the asset to sell it to cover their money. So if, because this is not possible, there is no true sale and hence Islamic finance guys coming up with sukuk structures, this is entirely wrong. Okay. This is not a true observation. This is true 
that most of the suku do not provide full recourse to the underlying asset to the suku holders in case there is a default but this is actually a kind of expectation of the suku holders they do not they do not want to have recourse to the asset this is a very very important point this recourse to the asset becomes relevant only when there is a problem with the transaction i e the obligor is not paying the due amount otherwise if the transaction is honky dory har cheez theek hai suku holders are not interested in having recourse to the asset so we must look at the intentions of the parties involved ab ye bhi ek bahut bada criticism hai islamic banking ka log ye kehte hain ki ji ye intentions hi theek nahi hain banko ki islamic bank banks and their other parties involved like shareholders and so on ab ye pata nahi kahan se baat aa gayi let us look at the intentions once again we previously looked at intentions and we found that intentions were valid let's see in this case what are the intentions now intention basically is very simple uh that you know one party wants to provide financing to the other one and that other one is seeking financing in a sharia compliant way now in a sukuk structure what happens this party seeking finance would sell that asset to an sp the suku holders they would put that money into that spv by way of buying suku now this money which has come from the suku investor that would go to the obligor and the obligor would receive a return this is the intention now if this is uh, an intention okay then there it, it's a valid intention one party is seeking financing on a sharia compliant way by way of selling an asset to a third party okay and this whole mechanism generates this financing facility now according to sharia you no know, people who say that the sale doesn't take place okay according to sharia the sale actually does take place in the event or in the context of suku when the price has been paid the asset has been put into the custody of an agent custodian appointed by the suku holders the sale has taken place this is also true that there is not sufficient legal protection for the buyer in this case legal protection comes with the registering the product with a competent legal authority that doesn't take place in case of suku why because at the end of the day the expectation is that the obligor is going to buy back this asset after some time so going to the land registry and spending some money uh, at that time and then buying it back and paying the land registry fee again this would increase the cost of issuing suku so in the event of default when there is no sufficient legal protection available the case of course goes to a court and this is heard by a common law judge most i think 99% of the suku global suku transactions they are written in an english law context which is uh, which is a common law example ab common law bada liberal hai wo kehta jo kuch aap aapne aapas mein tay kiya hua hai na uske mutabik faisla karenge now when the case goes to the court judge sahab dekhte hain ki acha ye sale to inki hui hui hai this party has paid the price and the asset has gone into this spv to wo ye dekhta hai ki register nahi hui hui 
तो वो कहते हैं आपने रजिस्टर क्यों नहीं करवाई वो कहते हैं जी कि हम नहीं करवा सकते या हम नहीं करवाना चाहते द जज वुड एट बेस्ट से यू सिली बॉयज यू शुड हैव गॉट दिस एसिट रजिस्टर्ड नाउ दैट यू हैवन डन इट सो इट डजेंट मीन दैट द सेल हैजन टेकन प्लेस सो द जज वुड कम अप विद ए डिसीशन बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्ट दैट द सेल हैज टेकन प्लेस this is what happens in all the common law jurisdictions to so, ab wo to even english law bhi kehta hai ki sale to ho gayi hui hai to jo log ye kehte hain true sale nahi hai wo asal mein sahi unki observation nahi hai in case of suku the sale takes place from a sharia view point and when a judge is asked to rule on that sale the judge would say that actually the sale has taken place it's only that it hasn't been registered jitne bhi suku cases abhi tak english courts mein gaye hain judges ne yahi faisla sunaya ab judge to ye keh raha hai ki sale ho jati hai agar aap ye kehte hain ki nahi hoti then this is your own opinion